Hi, this is Jeff Hilliard with Dixie RV. We're gonna to talk today about the Integra Anthem. Some people might wonder what is Integra Coach and where did they come from? Possibly you already know, or maybe you've just seen these gorgeous motorhomes and don't know the history behind them. Integra comes from a blending of the previous Travel Supreme, taking the quality and luxury and look they had, and being purchased by Jayco, which is the largest privately held manufacturer of RVs in the country. Not only do you have a great manufacturer with a wonderful history in Jayco, you have a company that is privately owned and debt free, so it assures financial stability. This melding of these two companies has really created a product that is wonderful, has beauty and look that the Travel Supreme was known for, has the construction and quality that Jayco is known for, and carries their exclusive to your warranty. We're going to look inside and see some of the reasons why Integra Coach is such a wonderful unit and the Anthem particularly will be a coach that you might want to consider. As we come inside the Integra Anthem, there's a lot of things you're going to notice, but before we get to that, I want to tell you a little bit about the coach itself. This is a rail style or enclosed awning motorhome, one of the luxury level coaches, meaning that there are two Girard awnings mounted at the top of the passenger side of the coach. They come out further than a traditional awning and give you a lot better space and you end up with almost 40 feet of awning space on the passenger side. Of course, there's an outside TV entertainment center area, outside slide trays, exterior refrigerator freezer, a lot of other options available in this coach and they come most of them standard. This unit is powered by an ISL 450 horsepower Cummins diesel, has an Onan diesel generator, three roof airs, aqua hot heating system. It also has heated floors throughout the coach that is done as well with the aqua hot system. So you don't have to worry about running a separate electric heater to heat your floors. Inside, you've got a lot of neat features, electric fireplace, residential refrigerator, dishwasher drawer, cooktop, and this is a bath and a half floor plan. The unit's also available in a 42 rear bath as well as a 44 rear bath unit. One of the things that are great about an Integra Anthem is the kitchen space enabled in this coach. Of course, a residential refrigerator is one of the first things we'll notice. It has a very unique locking system that allows you to lock and unlock the coach with just one finger, opening up to give you the large space. This does have a French style refrigerator freezer with the drawer underneath, but the ice maker and water are located in the door. The kitchen space has a large pull-out kitchen counter to give you extra counter space, removable inlaid sinks with a Corian sink and a Corian countertop. Additionally, the drawer space underneath the sink is really a unique way they do it. It's a large drawer space that pulls out that has storage for the counter removable inserts, the garbage can, and a lot of other storage space underneath. While we're here in the cabinet area, this is one thing to talk about. This, of course, is built in Middlebury, Indiana, in the middle of the Amish country, and the cabinets reflect that heritage beautiful hardwood cabinets throughout, gorgeous woodworking, and it's a definitely a quality you come to expect with Amish craftsmanship. Residential cooktop, residential convection microwave, and of course a dishwasher drawer as well really makes this coach not only luxurious but also easy to use and very comfortable while you're taking your trips wherever you plan to take them. One of the nice things Integra does is locate all of your controls in one centralized location in the 42 RBQ, that central location is here in the half bath. Your aqua hot heater controls are located here. This aqua hot system includes the engine preheat as well. Also, your sea level tank 2 monitoring system is, is shown here. The benefit of this system is it shows your tank levels in percentages as opposed to an arbitrary one third, two thirds, and full level, much more accurate and a lot easier to use. Your air conditioner and heater controls are located here. And this is a really nice panel that lists all of your 12 volt controls with as well as your fuses. You can see when a fuse is good or the light will go red if a fuse is bad, or in these cases down here, there are no fuses in the block. It makes it much easier to help find if there is a problem, where the problem exists, and to change the appropriate fuse. One of the really nice innovations Integra has incorporated in all of their products is something dealing with the sliding doors in the coach. Now you might have sliding doors in your motorhome, and if you do, you probably have heard this sound when you pull off from a campground. That sound of, oh, I forgot to lock the door. Well, Integra has done something really neat in that whenever you release the park brake on the coach, not only does an airlock close the entry door to make sure there's no wind noise, there's also plungers located throughout the coach and anywhere there's a sliding pocket door, the plunger comes up and locks the door in place. That keeps you from having to worry about remembering whether or not you locked it. You're still able to pull against the plunger and open or close the door as needed for privacy, but you don't have to worry about it sliding while you're going down the road. In a lot of coaches, you'll see a panel similar to this with lighted controls to turn on switches throughout the motorhome. This is generally indicative of a multiplex wiring system. 
What is a multiplex wiring system, some people might wonder. The standard light switch works when you flip a switch, there's a wire that runs directly to a light and turns that light on. The multiplex system is different, however, in that the wiring here goes to a control unit in the basement that goes then to all the lights in the coach. That allows the engineers to program which lights come on and off, it allows you to have a neat switch like a light master switch. At night, you can cut all the lights off. You can also turn them all back on in the morning to give you a bright new day when you wake up. It allows you to turn lights on from multiple locations, but it really helps in the ability of the engineers to be able to uniquely set up the motorhome to work best for you. So all of your controls are located here. It's also really neat because you can see whether the light is white or blue, whether or not it's on. Here I know that my passenger side security light is not on, now it is. But at night if I want to go to bed and don't want them on, it's easy for me to see they were on. A nice easy switch that makes it really comfortable for you. While we're in the bedroom, one nice thing to look at is one, just the look of the bedroom. Beautiful raised panel headboard, very, very deep storage, and again, that Amish craftsmanship. You also have a select comfort sleep number bed with two separate sides, giving you comfort for you and your spouse, allowing both of you to choose what firmness you would like. Just part of the wonderful things Integra does, standard on almost every motorhome. One of the nice things too in the Integra bedroom, across from the bed is a lot of storage drawers but the shades in the bedroom are also powered. There are a lot of motorhomes at this price point that the powered shades are only in the front of the coach and you still have manual shades in the rear. Not Integra. The Integra Anthem has power shades throughout the motorhome. Additionally, another neat feature is located behind the TV. Behind the TV, your satellite system and DVD player are housed, but another nice feature is a safe. Most people wouldn't even know to look for it here, but if they do, your valuables are still locked up. One of the nice things in the bedroom are full-length mirrors on both your closet doors. Behind the closet doors, you'll see a cedar-lined closet with a very residential look and lots and lots of space. As we look on the other side, one of the prettiest things in the coach is the hand-laid tile in the bathroom. You'll also notice the hand-laid tile in the backsplash in the kitchen, as well as on the floor in the living area. You can see that the living area of this Integra Anthem is set up for entertaining. All of the recliner locations are located facing your midship TV, which is right above your fireplace. One of the nice features about the Integra Anthem is the Smart Wheel steering wheel. The Smart Wheel controls your cruise control, your headlights, your courtesy flash, and your, blink your blinker for your headlights, as well as your radio controls located here. Adjustable pedals, you have a tag dump, two-stage exhaust brake, a lot of really great features for the driving of the coach. One thing Integra really prides itself for is because of the extra thickness of the walls, the floor, and the roof, they have one of the quietest, if not the quietest, driving motorhomes on the industry. But when you look over here to the center of the coach, you'll see this strange device. What is it? The Mobileye is a safety device that does several things while you're driving. One, it monitors your lane position. If you start drifting in your lane, or if somebody pulls in front of you, an audible alarm is triggered. This not only helps if you have a careless driver ahead of you, but it also helps if you would start to doze off while driving. The Mobileye is a really neat piece of technology that is only found in the Integra Anthem and Cornerstone. There are a lot of things we didn't get to talk about today on the Integra Coach. If you'd like to know more about the Anthem or any of the other Integra products, please give us a call at 299-0321 or you can check us out on the web at DixieRV.com. This is Jeff Hilliard and it's been my pleasure to spend a little time with you today talking about the Integra Anthem.